You ever feel paralyzed, stuck, like you can't figure out what to do next? Happens to the best of us. Let's get fed. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. Welcome to the Get Fed Podcast by JV the Doctor. I'm your host today, the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso. We are excited to have you here. If you're a first-time listener, watcher, thanks for joining us. You're in for a ride. If you've been here before, we really appreciate you. Thanks for coming back. You know what I'm going to ask you to do? Give a like, give a subscribe, give a follow, give a share, rate five stars, click all those little buttons. Share with your friends because we really, really appreciate it. And that's what helps spread the word. And if you ever get like stuck doing it, it's okay. Just push through because that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about getting unstuck. It happens to the best of us, right? We are trying really hard to get something done. And we have so many things to do, like the to-do list. If you, if you see my weekend and what I was like, that was where this topic came from, all right? This was something I was going through a lot this week because my to-do list just kept growing. It just kept growing and getting bigger. And there were so many things that I needed to get done. I didn't even know where to begin. So I just stared at it for quite a while and just like, I don't want to do any of it. I'd rather just like sit on the couch, watch some TV and relax, which I'm not against, by the way. Adding that into your to-do list is definitely something smart to do. And and I did. Uh, But... When we get stuck and we know we have to do things and we get that paralyzation, what do we do? Uh, And actually, I was on a phone call talking to a good friend of ours, and she was having the same struggle. We were like talking about the exact same things because we were both going through it, a fellow business owner. And and we know that to-do list just keeps growing, and we have to just start hacking away at it. So what do we do to get unstuck? What do we do to just push forward? And one of the best things that we can do is just start nibbling away at it, right? We just need to start getting some stuff done. So if you break that list up into what were the things that have to be done? What are the things that you really need to do? What are the things you want to do? And what are the things that you can push away? Right. First thing you want to do is just start hierarchying that list. And the absolute things that need to be done need to be to the top of that list. Now, you can mix in some other things that are also top priority in there so that maybe you don't feel overwhelmed of having to do maybe all the hard tasks in a row. If maybe your top of the list is like long projects that are going to take many hours, you probably want to break it up a little bit because, you know, working or focusing on the same thing for too long, our brain shuts down. It doesn't want to keep doing it. It just gets worn out. We need to take breaks. So breaks could be actually like taking a break, maybe watch a show, maybe get up, go for a walk, maybe get ahead of the gym, go by the pool, all the things I did this weekend. That's why I'm giving them to you. Uh, But you want to do some of those things to kind of break up the monotony of what you're doing, right? So you hierarchy that list, you put the most important things at the top, the things that are after that, and then you create the list on how you think you want to have a good flow. Now, I know you're saying, Doc, even putting the list together, Sounds like a task. I can't even get that far. And I get it. Part of the thing is you just kind of have to do some of these things. We have to push through the uncomfortableness um, if you want to get some of these things accomplished, right? So we can't always just do what we want and hope it works out. We have to kind of give ourselves a little push to get it done. So maybe that is enlisting some friends or confidants or colleagues that you can, you know, have check in with you, create like that system where you both check in on each other and make sure that you're getting the things that done. It's a great way to do it. It's a great strategy in listing people to help you while you're also returning the favor and helping them. Because if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur or someone who has a lot of things that's on their task, you probably know someone else that's in a similar situation. So enlist their help. They're going to love it because then you can keep them accountable as well. So just do a text check-in or Or after so long, give a call and have a conversation. Hey, where are you stuck? What can I help you with? I'm stuck. What can you help me with? And you're probably going to be around those same areas again on the things that you're getting stuck with. So it's going to be a great exercise for the both of you. Uh, 
So that's one strategy on how to implement some of this change. Again, the other thing is just start breaking it up into small parts. When we look at the whole project, it seems overwhelming. But what aspect of it can I do pretty quickly? There has to be something on that list that you can say, well, at least I can start with this part. And if I get this part done, then I'll do this part. And you start to build and chip away at it. And it seems like it's not as insurmountable, right? Like it doesn't seem like a giant mountain. It just seems like, oh, that's just a little incline I have to get over. And then I get to go down for a little bit and then I get the next incline and then I go down a little bit. And that's such an easier walk than saying I'm going to climb Mount Everest all at once. Right. So those are a couple strategies that we can think about right away. Right. Break it apart. Make it more manageable. Put a hierarchy in place to make sure that we're putting the stuff that's really hard at top and then start breaking it down as we go. And then enlist a friend. Or a colleague, business partner whoever it may be that you feel has that same struggle with you. I know these things can be challenging and it's, it seems something silly sometimes when we're like getting stuck on doing a project, like just do it. Right. I mean, Nike got a whole slogan on that, uh, but we know Nike is not run by one person. They have a team of people putting all these things together. When you're by yourself, this could feel overwhelming. So while we agree with the idea of just go ahead and start doing it, you have to do it. You're the one responsible. We also have to understand that we're human and there's going to be times that it's going to feel overwhelming to us. What's my favorite saying? I hope you all just said it. More than one thing is true at the same time. We can be very successful. We can be overachievers in a lot of ways. We can know that we know what we're supposed to do, but we could also get stuck sometimes. We could also feel like imposters sometimes. We can also feel that overwhelmed sometimes. And we can feel those things at the same time. We can crush one thing and then get stuck on the next thing almost right after each other. It's because we're human, we're complicated. Our brains are, are sophisticated in a lot of ways. We have to figure out ways to push past it. And what we always know is we're all different, right? So we have to try different things. So I gave you a few tips, but you got to try different things that are going to help you. Are you someone that strives with organization? Do you need lists? Do you need reminders? Do you need programs that can help set it up for you? Are you someone who is a little bit more seat of your pants where you're like, all right, I'm just going to write down everything that needs to be done and then just walk over and pick something out from that list. They all work. Again, just again, making sure that you are getting the things that you really need to get done. Because if I put a few things on the list, one of the things to be cautious about, uh, project, emails, lay by the pool, you know which one I'm going to put first. You got it. But it doesn't mean it's not as also important. We just have to know what's most important for us. At that time, laying by the pool might actually be the most important thing that you need. But you also might have to say, okay, well, instead of two hours by the pool, I'm going to take 20 minutes by the pool. And I'm going to use that as a, a refresher so that I don't feel like I'm not getting any kind of me time in there. Self-care is super important. So if you feel ever felt stuck, hopefully some of this stuff resonates with you and you can take some tips and put some of these things into action. Again, it's trying figuring out what works best for you. We get stuck. It's just something that we do. It's okay. Know that you're not alone, but know you have to do something about it. And the only way you can do something about it is figuring out it's going to what works best for you. So try some of the things I just mentioned. Uh, see which one works best. Let me know which one you like best. You know what I'm going to tell you to do. That's right. You're going to slide in those DMs and you're going to let me know which one of those strategies works best for you. The strategies are hierarchying the list, start knocking it down a little piece at a time or a listing a friend and instead of or and maybe you try all those things and maybe you see which one likes works best for you so you're not stuck like chuck i don't know who chuck is but we always make him stuck and it's unfortunate for chuck chuck's probably really good at what he's doing just occasionally like the rest of us sometimes he gets stuck and and you know he's helped us out by allowing us to use his name when we get stuck all right, y'all. This is the end of the podcast. I appreciate everyone that's listened. You know, you can follow us on YouTube. You know, you can get us on all our social media platforms at JB and the Doctor. Make sure you go over to our website, check out what events are going on. 
we list all everything that's going on. And if you're in the South Florida area, we have a lot, a lot of stuff coming up in the next few months. It's we're going to be crazy busy and we're going to be out there with all opportunities for you to come see us, including this Wednesday. If you guys are local, I'll be speaking at a parent uh, community uh, outreach on how to communicate better through the generation gaps. So if you're around for that one, I know this comes out the day before it happening, but you know, slide into those lists, click on the little button and find out where I'm going to be till then. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Yo.